so... I'm almost done! I'm almost done! Oh my god, I'm almost <laughs> done with my... <laughs> You're almost done with your, uh... Ex excuses? My excuses! <laughs> Everyone see in here okay? We got... <laughs> actually made it um i was able to be home in time for the the, the try on live stream yesterday now that they've changed the time i uh i uh have to work so i can't i can't make it so it looks like we're live if we got the ads then that means we're good to go hello everyone this is fiendish with dimension terrain i'm here today with Godzilla. And we're talking a lot of Tinker Tools updates today. 1.3.1 uh, has been released. It should be on Curse very soon if it's not already. Um, I sorry to Link 3D for kind of rushing them through that Curse update because I wasn't tracking. Hey, they can hear you, Odds. That's a good sign. Um, so a major update quality of life update hit the hit the live servers this week and so we can see it here the draw distance improved by roughly 500 percent i was yeah roughly it takes me under it. <laughs> now <laughs> keep in mind that not there are some items and some effects that did not get affected by this update you'll see it with a lot of the environmental effects and dream weaving effects like water um, but still just being able to see like a shore and mountainsides and trees and stuff like when I first, this is an old dimension. Um, I, when I first built this one in 2014, I was kind of ignorant then about how to effectively deal with draw distance limitations. So what happened was when you zoned in, you couldn't see all the way to the back and now you can see all the way to the back, which is good. This one is, is slated for, I was going to tear the whole thing down, but now I think I'm just going to do a little bit of updating. But now you may see some things that impact uh, load times, and you'll especially notice this in, like, big guild dimensions. We're going to see how long this takes with all this stuff pulling off my video card. That would be the, the stream. Okay, so... Here we are. It's still thinking about it. So you will notice a direct impact to load times, especially in large guild dimensions. I know you're working on the halls of shaping right now, aren't right, Odds? Yeah, and it already takes a little while to load, and I'm only at like 3,500 items. Yeah. And this one is not full. This is at 4,400 at 5,000. And this actually went pretty quick um, compared to Wednesday when I initially did the tests in here and this is only the one one room having this issue so you will see a direct impact to load times in some dimensions especially the large guild dimensions another thing that went live this week um, was probably the best change ever and that was stacking building blocks to where they go up to 999 instead of just 99 uh, I think oh, busting out the little pointer. Yeah. <laughs> See that? 100, 200, 320. Um, as far as the quality of life change goes, this is pretty friggin' amazing. Um, I know my, my bank slots are pretty grateful for this fix. I saved two guild bank tabs and about six tabs off of a personal bank, and that's top and bottom. <laughs> so, that's <friggin> <laughs> Yeah. I was not expecting that. I did not even know that was coming down, so... <laughs> no, that one wasn't... We didn't have any kind of uh, heads up or anything that that was coming. It was put in the um, the, the request Right, because Tex didn't want to hear any shit about it. He's like, this decision I'm making on my own. <laughs> well, no, actually, it was put in the request thread on, like, Saturday or Sunday. And Wednesday, it went live. Yeah. 
So if, if you're on the forums and you see that request thread and you think, well, I could put something up there, but nothing would ever happen, not always true. But so that brings us to the main point because we were um, going to do this week's stream on the PTS so we could talk about the draw distance updates so we could do like basically more testing. Um, but that going live kind of kind of took care of that. Didn't they want us to stress test it? Like, wasn't it the whole point yeah, of the live? Yeah, he had said, you know, guys should stream from the from the PTS, and it was like, okay. So actually, Odzilla's GM, um, Serene, I know I screwed that up. Everybody does, but he <laughs> he pronounces it a really weird way. So just Serene weenie. So, <laughs> well, I'm not going to call him that. But so big <laughs> shout, big shout out to him. He has a level 25 guild on the PTS. He bought. A halls, of shape, a halls of Shaping and upgraded it so that we were we could try to ram through something on the PTS to, to really demonstrate load times on a guild dimension. Um, but then it went live and kind of made it pointless. But thank you anyway. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> so that brings us to Tinker Tools. And Ali says actually a lot of the request list has been up implemented and yes, it actually has when you look at it and you look at what's coming. Like we know Land Quarium stuff is coming with 4.2. Um, now there have been some, there has been some bad information posted on the forums about item limit increases. Uh, I asked him if, I asked Tacitus if there was an item limit increase coming in and he said no. So, and then as far as like, um, there's requests to, raise the the amount of npcs and certain other in, interactives in dimensions and that's also going to be a no just because uh <clears throat> when he was on the live stream with us last year he talked about what kind of resources the npcs and stuff pull and that's why 40 is the cap and it's going to remain the cap so now let's talk we're going to get to the main portion of this which is talking tinker tools there's been a lot of changes here a lot of good quality of life changes. How about with like flowers and such stacking higher? You know what? I'm about to request that everything that's not an interactive stack to 999. <laughs> I mean, talking people like you that hoard thousands of each item. Yeah. Like I'm like, if I can get five of an item. <laughs> well, I'm talking like I have stacks upon stacks of corner posts, uh, pre-made walls, windows, flooring, you know. Oh, those don't stack to? Those do not stack to 99. They are not building blocks. Oh. You know, things like trees, whatever. All should be. Big ass good. glowing bushes. Yeah. It was only building blocks. But even so, when I, I know I use building blocks by the thousands. So I have thousands in storage. Um the change that they made was a really good change. So, but anyways, the bulk of what to, we're going over today then is going to be talking Tinker Tools. Um, Can you see thing, my bird flap through your front window? I don't care. <laughs> um, this week you don't care. Two weeks ago you were yelling at me to get out of your house with my bird. Yeah. Okay, so this, you see my little, somehow I drew an arrow and not a line. Wow. Well, yeah. That's perfect. Straight. How the hell? I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> he got rid of, there was a, there used to be an option under load and save sets where you could load multiple copies of a set and offset it like certain distances. Like say, uh, you know, even my old Tinker Tools video has it where I'm setting up this column set I had saved like every three, three game units or whatever. Well, he got rid of that because it's redundant because now you can just do a copy and paste, um, you know, and offset it that way. But you don't, it's redundant with doing a load and save. So, so what he's done here is he's added the, the reference point. So what is the reference point? Well, say, you know, normally when you load and load a set that you have saved, it just loads in some random spot and so first first thing before you can even do anything else you have to find it like where did it load 
so now if you check this use reference point box and then hit pick just like you would with custom pivot now you'll see um, these reference point numbers show up so that's where you're telling something where to load now if you have say say old sets where you didn't have the reference point like I have a lot of them um, it'll take that that point where you just picked and it'll drop us that as a center point but let's that just, just blew my mind find a set here and then load it <laughs> TP roll top is that when you fixed your toilet paper because it was on backwards huh no I didn't think so. Because it wasn't on backwards. It okay, was. so once it loads... Sure. Once it loads, now it's in the right spot. All I have to do is set it to the right height. And turn it. And then if I want to save, save it here. Now say I want to save it to maybe put it somewhere else. I can, it won't let me save without having a reference point selected, but now I can save it with that same reference point. So click pick and then save set. And then pick it up. Wait, so you can't you can't save sets anymore without a reference point? You can just uncheck that box. And if you don't want to oh. use the reference point, <laughs> that's also my feathers sticking out the window. <laughs> all you have to do is uncheck this box right here. Okay. Now then, when I come load it. We'll just say that's going to be a good, a good spot to put it. And it's going to turn, so I probably should have rotated it, but... Hmm, that's nifty. It is nifty. That's a great quality of life change because now... I mean, say you're talking a set like this house. This house I have built to do all this stuff in is a safe set. So, being able to, say, build it here, but move it to a different dimension, um, it's going to make it a lot easier for me to control. And we know my girlfriend just lacks her control. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's all a time saver and a functionality thing. You know, it, it's just a really good um, thing to do. Now, I'm not trying to jump around too much here, but I'm going to come into the selection tool, which is new-ish. It came out around 1.2.8, um, and I didn't mess with it too much because I had a misunderstanding of what I thought it did. I thought the selection tool was like a load and save thing for temporary sets. Um, so what selection set does is it, if I have this saved and then I decide I want to move it somewhere else, but I'm already over here fiddling with carpet or moving windows or doing whatever, well, I have to do, and I can be out of edit mode. I hit hit those items so now I'm not picking through the item list trying to find things or write up on this picking that trying to trying to select those tiny little swords and what? yeah oh my god I can't take it and then, so then if I want to copy and paste this and move it somewhere or do anything else at that point I can do that 
Now, caveat to that is once I leave the dimension and come back, or once I log out for a while and come out, come back, it's, it's not going to stay. Oh, well, it might have created a selection of my loaded set automatically, but eh. Eh. That's unreal. <laughs> yeah. And then every time, uh, just like that, it'll it'll grab it. So we had to set up PayPal for links. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, Jador likes my outfit. <laughs> yeah, being a smart ass. Look at those feathers, though. You should have seen the hat she was wearing when I zoned in. She looked like a she looked like a freaking fish. I was like, you look like an underwater version of Maleficent. She's like, I'm changing my hat. <laughs> Whatever. I think I look cute. You're adorable. Thank you. Okay, so with. I just I don't want to be like flipping around too much, but at the same time, uh, that was like a really good kind of opportunity to talk about the selection tool and um, the new loading, the new uh, reference point thing. So now let's talk about reskin. Reskin also saw some changes. Now what we were used to. Um, with reskin was that if you had one texture or you had multiple textures and you wanted to condense it down into one you had to go through each thing one at a time like I would have to break this down into into oak oak and then dark wood if I say want to change the whole thing into white wood for a bigger a better selection now I want to take this whole door and turn it into white wood Bird butt. Bird butt. I'm ignoring you <laughs> <laughs> so I want to leave it with all and then go to any skin and this is just it's a nice quality of life thing it's a time saver um, any skin says that I want to take everything that I have selected and I want to make it into um I'm just going to change it all to white wood without having to do it one texture at a time. So I'm just going to select, and this is where that selection tool would come in really handy. I know I'm going to miss some pieces. Huh, maybe not. So I'm going to copy everything and then apply. And yep, I missed some pieces. But whatever, I didn't have to do the oak first and then go back and do the, the dark wood and do it all separately. It would work the same if I wanted to, say, reskin this entire um, little structure in a different texture. Yeah, I'm going to have to rewatch this stream. I was busy messing with my bird because that looks amazing. Yeah. I mean, if you use reskin, like, it's not uncommon for me. Um, to reskin a build three, four, five times before it's done as I look at different block combinations to see what I like best. Wow. That's that's really freaking awesome. I still pull out the old toolbox and copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, because I just couldn't figure out skinning on uh, the new Tinker Tools. The reskin? Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. You'd be amazed at how bad I screwed that up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk reskin then, since I'm, I'm going to go over reskin, not to, you know, insult your intelligence in any way. Okay, I just want to make it, make it clear. I mean, we covered how to like with copy and paste, right? 
Okay, I'm following. Go ahead. We'll say... Oh, I still need copy and paste open. Uh, we'll go with that desk again. Now, I could just... Um, do a load in original location, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to send it to the clipboard. And let's say I just wanted to do the whole thing in mahogany. Hopefully I have enough mats. So uh, I do want to reskin from Oh my goodness. Load and save. Uh, my brain's getting more wrinkles. I'm learning shit today. You want to send it to the clipboard. Apply your new skin and hit apply and then hit paste. These arrows are freaking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And then once you do that from load and save set, so it will also use the reference point just like it would if um just like it would if uh I was loading it without reskinning it. You can see it loading right now. Or you would be if my bags... And there we go. That's amazing! Now, once I've no. already oh. loaded the set, and I want to change out the skins, I hit copy, and I don't have to deselect the bookcase or the swords. Copy. Say I want to go with... Do you have anything neon in your bags? No. Ugh, lame. I don't, I don't have enough room for that. I have enough room for, like, the basic stuff. Do you have oak? Do something, like, really bright. That's, that's a huge contrast to what the original skin was. Okay. All right. Or so really okay. dark. Whatever. We'll copy, apply. So if you're doing it just from a normal copy and paste, I'm going to get my arrows again. <laughs> with new items selected in bags or bags in bank, whichever you want. Select those, then hit copy, then hit apply, and then I would pull everything up, and then hit paste. And it's you can probably see my chat log right now, so it's telling you what the replacement summary is. actually cannot see the chat log. Okay. So you're going to, once you hit all that stuff, you're going to want to remove... The Once I old? hit copy and apply, uh huh, pull everything up, Oop, including that thing, and then hit paste. Oh shit! Oh, that's awesome. And now, if you do still want to stay with two textures, of course then you'll have to go to, um, you will have to differentiate here as to what kind of, what the skin is. But if, if you're just changing out everything to one texture, any skin, all in any skin, that's all you got to remember, all in any skin. But I mean, like, say if I want the, the body of the desk to be dark wood and I want the roll top port to be mahogany, then if I want to reskin this roll top piece, I have to, to you know, only select those pieces. Oh, that's way too complicated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Went from antique to Ikea with that. Hey, let me tell like you how much that stuff. <laughs> stuff you can get at Walmart. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what the mahogany really reminded me of. Let me tell you about how much I bought at IKEA when I lived in Germany. <laughs> it was a lot. Okay. So now we are there any questions about reskin? Cuz you can reskin from load and save sets or just a straight copy and paste, but with both things though, you still have to have copy and paste open. Now, one thing I do, I did forget to mention, 
was when it comes to the roll top desk or any set, there's been some changes to the way that the list is displayed. We're used to seeing the material <laughs> list in the chat log where it just spells out what item it is. And <gasps> what is this? This is insanity! Yeah, so now we have a different window <laughs> that, you know, you can move around. So, like, when I'm standing at the bank, instead of having to, like, lock my chat log in place, um, I can take this material list, move it around, and dig through my bank for the materials. Um, I'm so glad I wasn't prepared for this stream because my, my, my head just literally popped off. Like, say, a, a big, a big set, like, this frame here. So now this just made my whole life much easier because I'm not scrolling through, you know, like on those days, well, what you call it doesn't stay in um, cross events or one to 29 or any, she's out of every channel except for a couple. So, but either way, when I'm standing at the bank, digging through materials, trying to find a set for what I need, this makes it a lot easier for me to find I, I'm still getting used to it but I like it a lot better I just wish that it was a little bit smaller oh, beggars can't be choosers yeah I mean I, I'm okay with it if you do a TT force I think is the command sparkling um, a TT force should open tinker tools outside of a dimension there we she, go. She, Aleandra did it. She typed it oh, in the chat for everybody. Damn, I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah. Indeed, good for when shopping the AH. Um, in case you don't have, like, some of this stuff, like the 289 wood planks. <laughs> you know, you're probably not going to find 289 black wood planks on the auction house, but if there's say you want just plain wood planks then you can send it to the clipboard reskin it um reskin that black wood or whatever to what you do have and then do it that way like if you're wanting to modify now, i thought i had a oh boy I mean, I get, are there any questions about that part? Yep, carved wood is cheap. A lot of, you know, there's, a, well, now that normal, the new, some of the newer skins are coming out cheaper because, uh, you know, they're, they're mini stashes. Yep. I'm just saying don't hit me up for any kind of building blocks because, uh, yeah, I hoard all those. She's stingy. Yeah. So, let me see. We covered a lot of reskin. We covered some of the selection tool. We covered load and save, copy and paste. Uh, he said he was fixing this part right here. Where it squishes my, how my alphabet button is squished. But it's only squished when I have all the all the tabs up, which is wow. <laughs> We're all thinking it. Hey, I've used carved wood. Yeah, uh, actually, you know, there's some. The treehouse contest is still going on. I'm glad you mentioned carved wood because one of the entries in Cozy Cottages last year was built entirely from carved wood. It was a great house, but I almost went blind. <laughs> <laughs> Give you seizures. <laughs> That's in your Cozy Cottages contest. I used carved wood because I was new to building and I was po. <laughs> a lot of, well, actually, a lot of people used carved wood, but only one did the entire thing in carved wood. So, 
um, uh, do, 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 do. I like totally lost my train of thought here. Uh, thanks, Reddy. This is a house I've used a lot of times. Um, I thought about uploading it to DA, but I'd have to reskin out that yellow because I don't. I don't really want to um, put up specialty blocks on DA because it might be hard for somebody that's new uh, to get. Who only has carved wood? Huh? What's Who that? only has carved wood? Well, reskin will let you swap out that carved wood for something else, but I mean, if I was going to upload it to DA, I would probably do it with regular limestone. So that way, you know if they're that new then they could acquire everything else and just you know not have to try to find wide or reskin i mean i did put the big fancy sink up on on da a couple weeks ago i, I don't know if anyone's oh, my fish sink. huh my fish sink yeah your, your fishy sink okay so now let's talk about the other way the selection tool really really works okay so once once you're done using something of course you know you can just delete it um, but what's this invert do so I want to and this is something we're coming up onto something you're going to want to have some bag space for I'm selecting everything I want to keep in here. So I have everything selected. And this part is um, based off like your, your distance, how far you can see is how far it can select. So now when I invert though. Yeah, but we got 500% increase. You can see a little shit Handling way. too many items may cause a disconnect. So this is where kind of going into some uncharted territory. We'll see how this works. So what it's going to do is it's going to deselect all the stuff that I currently have selected and then select this house frame. I may get disconnected. Not knowing yet. Or it may handle it like a champ. Oh. Yeah, that moving crate thing, I'll never need to use it again. <laughs> Bam. Now I have the whole thing selected. Yes, if I want to try to move, now at this point I have 509. Yes, it inverts the selection on the item list, but it will select everything else in the dimension in theory as long as it's in range. Now we all know that if I try to use, move this using the arrows, I'm going to crash. If I try to pick it all up using a default client, I'm going to crash. Right? You know that, right? It, because the oh, I've learned the hard way. <laughs> yeah. Default client, I'm pretty sure all of us have learned the hard way. The default client can only handle about 200, 200 items. Sometimes a little more, but never, you know, never too many more. So... We got everything inverted. I know I don't want, maybe I want to move this house somewhere. So if I actually want to save it, let's just pick that, pick that point. Save it. But now I'm going to pick it up. Now. I should not be able to do this. This right here is, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit balls. Yeah. What so, is this? This black magic. <laughs> so the only limitation with that is how much bag space you have. This is complete sorcery. Yeah. I'm out of here. I, <laughs> first time I tried that I was like oh my god I, I actually squealed a little bit <laughs> <laughs> but I did it um, 
I built a test frame in here that was something like 860 items. <clears throat> it was the whole whole house complete. And I picked it up with pickup and just moved it. Now I didn't realize what the invert did. So I still had to, I went through the item list and manual sele manually selected each piece. But um, yeah, it was just like that. So are there any questions about select? I think our brains are just like in overdrive thinking about all the stuff we can do with these new features now. Yes. We'll have questions later. Yes, this is a long, we've come a long way from toolbox. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> well, you know, I, I've been on Watcha a lot. I'm almost done with another project, but, um, so let's, let's get back to the test frame. Again, I'm going to load it up here. And I could do, yes, I could do a, um, a load at original location, but we'll just leave it with the, with the current reference point in and see if it loads. So this is probably going to take longer than it did to actually pick it up. Whoa. He does have an alt. Oh, oh, crash in dimensions. Mm -hmm. Well, in theory, in theory, this does not have, none of this has an, has a limit. So in theory, you could come in and pick every single item in a, in a dimension and then move it and load it in theory. And then, of course, if I want to move this after it's loaded, which it's still taking its sweet time, uh, you want to rotate it on a relative as group. Let me get my... This is very important. If you're rotating a big group, relative and as group. Otherwise, if you have absolute selected, it's going to be a bad day. It, it's just going to be a bad day because it's going to rotate each individual piece. I've done that. It's not fun <laughs> trying to fix it. Did escape not work for you? Sometimes if, I, if I'm if i not thinking and I don't check that and it rotates wrong, if I press escape, it'll go back. I think, Sometimes it decodes everything, but... I think escape has only worked for me like once ever mm. um then you are not a true rogue escape always works for me yeah well same thing with scale if you're trying to scale things in a group relative and as group and of course it's always percentage based um like you're wanting to shrink it 90 percent or 95 or 98 percent or you want to grow it uh, to where it's just like one point zero whatever bigger than it is and keep in mind that when you do a relative scaling it's going to be based off of the default min and max size of each item so like a building block a building block scales differently than say a vase so sometimes when you do that relative scaling you'll you'll see some things um So be careful with morph objects, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, placing is really rather slow, maybe, but it's just, you know, as slow as it is, it's not as slow as if I built it here, then had to go to the moving crate, and then had to rebuild it all, or set out every, every piece, you know, in, one by one. This is still faster than that. I'm just saying. 
<laughs> Especially when you're talking about pieces, sets that are 600 pieces, 800 pieces. Uh, I moved one that uh, the pink house was 1,100 items when I picked it up and moved it. Yeah. I mean, in the long term, it's saving time. And it's for sure saving, uh, you know, a lot of your headache. Another one is going to be a relative. Anytime you're talking about big sets, uh, why is that even with the marker and not with the arrow and not my little squiggle circle? Relative move. Local axes, um, he explained it. That's a move that when something's off axis, then you can move it to stay within that axis. Jeopardy theme song. Oh. Go for it, girl. No. I, I was trying to sing Laverne and Shirley earlier. But no one... <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a, a question on whispers. I don't... Uh -huh. I think she asked it earlier. And I'm trying to make sure I get this right. I don't know if it's... Can we use letters and numbers in alphabet? Or... Um... Why can't we? In alphabets? Yeah. Uh, I think alphabets is just letters. Is it just a matter of, I mean, I imagine that takes a lot of extra work having to design every individual character. Um, would that, I'm, I guess this is a question for lengths. Is, is that why we can't use numbers? Because they just haven't been designed and put into the add-on? Possibly. So now I decided to turn it around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it takes just enough time to where you really start to get nervous about it. And it's the same way... Um, when I move it. Each alphabet character is basically a safe set, one for each font and size. Oh yeah, oh yes, yeah. so that would be, that's a massive amount of work having to design all of those and then save them in there. Yeah. Makes sense. Does anybody else hold their breath when they're rotating a, a massive build? Yes. <laughs> Because yes. I just held my breath like three times and it's not even, yours is not even, it's not even my build. <laughs> <laughs> and then, boosh. Nope, don't like it. <laughs> I'm like cheering it on. Come on, baby, you can do it. You can do it. Okay, just one more piece. Oh, you got it. Good house. Boom, gone. All that, we waited all that time for you just to pick the whole damn thing back up. <sighs> I know, I'm sorry. <sighs> You're such a tease. Okay, so I hadn't really planned on talking alphabets too much today. I think I've used it maybe once. Ever? No, no. I used it a couple times for the tutorial videos. Are, are there any new features with it today? Or? Not as far as I'm tracking. Oh. I just hadn't thought there was a one. I didn't think there was a one. Yeah, I don't think it is a number. 
No. No, because that would have to be... Des- those are all... Every character has to be dev- des- designed individually. Mm-hmm. Ugh, Lord. Let's see what I have a lot of. All right. What don't you have a lot of? Uh, well... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Black. Black wood. And the, the material list for alphabets, though, does still show up in the chat log. Twenty-two planks, forty-four squares. Holy crap! That is exactly why I don't. I'm like, wow, that's a lot of building blocks just to say f off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think sometimes you can. Um, uh, I think you've done enough forest links. <laughs> well, he, when I talked to him the other day, he said he was trying to work out how to make two separate clipboards, which. That would be a pretty awesome change, too. I mean, I think I, I like these fonts and they're nice and everything. I think you can do your own lettering a little bit more um, item in a bit more item conservative way. All my font, anytime I use lettering, it's it's it, it's always the same exact style, and it's always poles. <laughs> yeah. I ain't fancy. Find Yep. So, I would, unless there's any questions, I think that we're pretty much uh, covered it all for today. I don't think there was anything in the new updates I forgot. And if there is anything that's not clear, um, you know, just we watch the video. Well, that or or please, you know, ask the questions. Um, I'm 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 not working for like the next week and a half or so, so, you know. I'll Send her messages in game. Yeah. Because when y'all ask me shit, you know what I do. I sent her a tell. But anyways, as far as contests go, the Treehouse Contest uh, closes on the 19th of June. And I haven't posted it yet, but Cozy Cottages 3 is coming on the 15th of June. I didn't want to step on Kula that way, but um, real life kind of kind of dictated that choice. When is your when is Cozy Cottages ending? September first. Oh, sweet Jesus! You ain't stepping on nobody's toes. <laughs> no, but I didn't want him to be running. I didn't want him to be running his, and then I announced mine before it had ended. So. Um, Means I got two and a half months to procrastinate. Yeah, you do. There, I got rid of the re- the requirement this go round for the item limit. Yes, June fifteenth through the first of September. Oh shit! It looks like I'm redoing my guild hall. I don't know why. Guild dimensions aren't gonna be allowed. Aw, oh, some bitch. <laughs> Always hating on me. Is that it? Are we done? Yeah, except for giveaways. Oh, well, I was waiting on you. You usually yammer a few minutes over the time allowed. All right, if you guys want to, uh, we're giving away heffalumps? Yes. All right, if you guys want a heffalump, say something in chat. If you don't want a heffalump, don't say I don't want a heffalump because that enters you. We're not re-rolling. Yeah, not even an hour today. This is the sixth anniversary of Tusker Mount. That's what we're giving away to today. I have 11 users. Rolling in 10 seconds. Yeah, we got some lurkers in. 
Lurk away! Lurkers. <laughs> All right, how many are we giving away? Uh, let's do... You said how many users we had? 11? We have 11 that are entered. Uh, Oh, shit, I can't give away all of them at once. We'll do five? five. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right, let's roll. Here we go. Sparkling. Ready. Mark. Always Look at with these. the weighted dice. Look at these hacks. Winter. Last one. Brrr. Who's and this guy? Links three. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember, if you already have one, please give it to friends, give it to guildies, give it to new people. You know, or you know, well, I mean, once the once you have the code, you can do whatever you want to with it. But please, just don't let it. Uh, Go to waste. Use it to buy friends. Yep. So, thanks for everyone that tuned in today. Next time, we will be back in two weeks. Next time, we're talking about contest building. Um, Woo! Yeah. From technical issues. I'm not here to nitpick anybody's concept or ideas. I'm talking that if you're going to enter a contest, there's things you can do to at least give those judges something to not nitpick over. I don't know. Diva used to call me a uh, nitpicking <clears throat> witch. <laughs> <laughs> so. And it's funny because you say, you say it and my brain automatically started going to all your little your little gripes. And But if I were to start naming them, we'd ruin the stream for two weeks from now. So. Yes. <laughs> I can just Stairs. start. Stairs I, are my yep, biggest pet yep. peeve. There's a flicker. Yeah. So we hope to see you all next time. And thank you. And I hope everyone had a happy Mother's Day last weekend. And we will see you next time. Thank you. Say goodbye, Odds. Uh, bye, guys. <laughs> all right.